Cape Town underdog, you know. Something I put in, I put the name out there. Um, you know, for me, I like to put myself in a position where I'll give myself the name. It actually pushes me, you know, because I have to prove people, why are you the underdog? You know, and you know, for me, I'm a very big manifester, man. But when I manifest, I always put it out to the public, you know. But it puts it puts pressure on me to be like, come, bro. So now you're telling people it's for the win. Like people who watch this, they will know one of my uh, for the last five years, you know, in business, that was my slogan, you know, it's for the win, it's for the win, my bro, you know, so for me was when I started the business, I saw the vision and seeing the vision, I was like, you know what, it's for the win, when I saw it was, I'm into clothing, that's where I start, right, so a lot of people would know me as the clothing manufacturer, um, the name change, I was first uh, one, I was first SNS Fashions, and then we changed over to Kim K Apparel. So a lot of people knew me with that, you know. And then we put this brand, when I put the brand together, right? So this is this is a story of Shawnee Khan. And I, I want people to get to know who I am, you know. Um, you know, my journey didn't just start when it came to Forex trading, you know. And, you know, putting myself out there, mentoring people. That will get deep into why I'm mentoring people. But, you know, being that, I've walked a certain journey, you know. And being a business owner from the ground up. And people really know me. I mean, there's, there's one or two or three people yeah. in my group that came to a garage where I started out. I started in a single garage, you know. And with that, I grew into 100, 130, 140 square meter factory, you know. Mm -hmm. At the time, I had nine people working for me, you know. So, there is people who know where I come from. And that's why, as a mentor, you know, it's not just about the charts, man. Yeah, it's sure. not just about the forex charts, the candlesticks. Yeah, it's so much more than that, you know. And I believe, and I've also gone through a lot in life, you know. I made uh, bad decisions, you know. That's one of the things that as I grow, I'm going to speak about what I've been through in life, you know. Because I want people, as a mentor, I want people to respect me. And I want people to understand that if I mentor you, um, I've been through it. And if I've seen it, I've seen it. And it's, I only speak about my pers personal experience. I don't speak of what I read in the book. I don't see what I read on Netflix, so Netflix or on TV. I'm here to show people. And, you know, maybe it can change your life, you know. And you don't make the same decisions I make. As a made as a person, you know. So with that, that is how I push myself. It's for the win. It's for the win, my bro. So now I got to do it for the win. You know, it's no use saying something on the start of this brand. So when I wake up in the morning, like my bro, say so says for the win. So you by show the people it's for the win. You know, and that's what drives me every day. And that's what the manifesting is, and yes. I think that's the key to it. I was actually showing in my wallpaper. My wallpaper is always my manifesting board. Yes, mm. yes. And it's like you hold yourself accountable. The whole time and i think the power to, to putting it out on social media yes and out to the world is you yes. need to do it yes and i think the one thing that you said and what i love is uh you're telling your story yes. it's like i can immediately see like a lot of times people will come and say like, well let me tell you my story and then mm -hmm. they're like um what was uh, when was that again it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're trying to think what they're quickly going to say yeah, to make their story sound drastically and then for you it's like it's you're not trying to be motivated. I'm trying to keep it real, right? And I'm trying to, to take people on my journey, you know? So when I do reach a certain point on my whole journey, you know? Like I always tell people, Forex, I believe Forex is to be the big breakthrough. Mm -hmm. I've always dreamt of living in the hills. I've always yeah. dreamt of driving supercars, right? Yeah. So I've did business. I've worked offshore also. Mm -hmm. so remember I was a seaman before starting a business so i spent about eight years on the ocean you know so i've got all of these experiences that built a character that built a work ethic you know and these are all things where i come from you know from my from the start of my journey you know so for me like all i can say is i've been wanting to put it out there but it's also um come and see my journey you know yeah. see it from where i started and you know as we go don't just think a oh, boom i popped up and i'm this yeah. big multi-millionaire oh, and living this big life and it just happened you know i do put it out there you know it's like i said it challenges myself but sometimes it can also kick you back in the ass, mm. if you get what I'm saying. You know, it can kick you back sometimes because sometimes you put out there like, hey, 2023, I'm going to, yeah, you put pressure on yourself, you know. Yeah, sure. But that is what I've realized that nowadays I'll just manifest. Yeah. I want the car like this, I'll put it out there. But I'm not going to yeah. say 2024, 2025. Yeah, yeah, when it happens, it happens, happens you know. But it's a, it's a thing of manifesting and when it does come, I want people to feel like, oh, this guy's been said, oh, he wants this, he wants that, and he's finally got it, you know? Because what I realize is all you got to do is just put in the work. Your time will come, you know? You, you, you can't say that it's going to be 2024. You can't say it's going to be 2025. And this is the first year that I've said, it's, you know, every year, this is my year. This is my year, you know? All I can see is every year I progress, and that's the key thing. I progress as a person. I progress, I move forward. But, you know, I've always put out there that no, I'm going to do this in 2022. 2023, I'm doing this now. I take things day by day, and whatever, I just reflect on the, at the end of the year, I reflect, and be like, you, you move forward, you know, you move forward, and you know, that is where I'm at, and you know, some people will always be like, yeah, this man just talk, 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 you know, at the end of the day, what I've learned is you can't also keep everybody, you can't make everybody happy, you know. Uh -huh.
You can't be compassionate. You're not gonna keep like someone is gonna exactly. watch this podcast and think, ah, oh, that guy does yes. that. That guy. Yes. That's it. It's like yes. uh, the same with uh, I think law of attraction manifesting where you said that. Uh, and I don't think people understand it because I listen to this thing of Steve Harvey every morning. Mm-hmm. Where he talks about law of attraction. He's like Oprah talked about this on every show. Oprah's a billionaire, so I'm listening to him. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Steve Harvey is a billionaire, so I'm listening to him. And I yes. think with someone like you as well. People need to see you putting it out there. Yes. It's uh, how many people does it? So I'm a very, I'm a very raw, rough and raw and ready person. Yeah, so for me, I, I'm, a, I'm a more of an Andrew Tate guy. Mm-hmm. And I mean, being in a certain position, I know that guys just book facts. Yeah. But there are people who don't like it, you know. But like I said, life, some certain parts and certain journeys that go not for the faint-hearted. Yeah, yeah. So certain people won't, re- won't relate to Andrew Tate yeah, true, because true. there's levels to the shit, bro. There's yeah. levels to life, you know. And at the end of the day, is not everybody's in this mindset on the same level. So for me, I'm not a Steve Harvey person. I'm over Andrew Tate person because yeah. he's putting facts and he's speaking, keeping yeah, it real, yeah. you know. Yeah. And for me, I'm a firm believer, and I believe that. And you know, at the end of the day, is I'm a very firm believer in God, and I know there's a living God, mm-hmm. right? And for me, because of the voice, I'm I'm a person that I've always built. And in business, I've never had partners. I've never had my partner was my life, my partner at the time, which was my life, my lover partner, as you would say yeah. it, and my business partner, in both both my ventures, right? But I've never ever had a very strategic business business kind of person, you know, where for me, I believe, and that is why, that's why I believe that Forex is actually the thing that's going to break me through. Yeah. Because sometimes in life, people need to know what rough road and ready. You know, in this type of life, life is hard and life is tough, you know, and you can't be messing around. If your feelings get hurt, unfortunately, life, this hard life is not for you, you know. You get to live the normal life, go to work, do your thing. And forever stress the rest of your life. And you know, stress is the biggest killer. Stress is one of the biggest killers, you know? Or you just push yourself through a level up and go to levels. And you know what the thing is? I, say, I always say like, your, d- d- depends on, on what your, your stress tolerance is directly correlated to how far you're going to come in life. Yes. Essentially. And, and there's yes. a different type of stress. That's like, so true. We are kind of like pushing mm-hmm. a higher level of stress than the normal person, but we can manage that stress. We can have a higher stress tolerance than these people. Yes. Essentially like somebody like you who comes onto the podcast and you're here for a reason, you know, we're all here for a reason. Essentially, we on, we're all on the same route, even in the same industry, essentially, mm. but we all have a different type of outlook on life, essentially. But it, it's kind of like when you chat to somebody like we chatting now, you can automatically gravitate towards that person and realize that like, this guy's got the exact same vision as me yes. and we we both have the same outlook on life for me it's like i set these long-term goals like we're coming back to the daily thing i set these long-term goals and i know that i'm going to get there essentially if i'm but that every it. single day following that specific plan and essentially planning it and following it because i think a lot of people come into any business it's not just forex but people don't essentially plan properly bro like if you really think about it if you essentially have a specific plan and itinerary for your day you automatically going to tick off more boxes than what you would if you're just free balling it and yes. going towards no. your goal yes. you know if you set and say this is what i got to do today i've got these 10 things even if you can tick eight of them off essentially you're going to move much closer to the goal quicker than what you just know okay that's where i want to get and just do shit day by day mm-hmm. to get there you know if you actually sit back and say this is one i want to go and this is what i need to do in order to get there this is what i at least think i need to mm-hmm. do in order to get there and then put in 100 percent of, uh, of your effort to essentially do those small things and tick off the boxes to get to that big goal. i think that's the most honest thing it's uh and i've uh, watched this not a TED talk but that's a type of situation where uh, a bunch of billionaires were on there mm. and they say that's it when you wake up in the morning write down what you need to do today mm. that's it that, you already know what the long-term vision is you know what you're building every day you know what you're doing same thing with trading you have your trading style. Yes. You're not going to wake up today and say, okay, let me quickly... Uh, today I'm taking a trade. <laughs> yeah. Let me go and do another course or whatever. You already know what you're doing. You just need to do what you need to do. Today I'm going to watch the market. I'm going to do the same thing I'm doing every single day. Mm-hmm. And I think that pulls through to business. And I like what you said in the beginning where you said that you worked on, on the sea for, for eight years. And I mean, that's hard work. That's, yeah. that's hard work. That that's hard work. work. You know, that's, where, that's where I built. I was 17, 18 years old when I left. Um, for, luckily for me, my birth is in April. And I left in March, a few days in March, and the company allowed me because I just turned 18. So yeah. Let me just interrupt you. Which day is your birthday? The 6th of April. Yo, I'm the 20th of April, bro. Yeah. I was going to say, yo, maybe it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it was like, you know, um, that is where I started my career. And, you know, that, that is where I could see. And that's what, that's, what, that's what put me into life, you know. So I will always be grateful for, for that journey I took on. Yeah. I was at Simonstown High School. 
and they're funny enough because that was the only school in Western Cape that offers maritime as a as a okay. maritime as a subject. Which school was that? Simon Stanai. Okay. So as Simon and I that that was like I said they they offered maritime so you learn about ships and this yeah. and navigation and all of that, that's and that's what put me onto this onto onto sea right, and you know for me, you would do like your like you would start off as a as a cleaner as a dead boy right, mm. but I mean working on sea the salary at the time I started in 2008, so in 2008. Earning between like between eight and ten grand a month is a lot of money. Yeah. You know, as a worker and see that is where I was at, you know. So yeah, I, I just have my trick. Yeah. I just have my trick, you know, and I went straight to sea. I I, I worked for a company, a Chef Marine, and they had like a internship program, you know. So for me I was one I'm not one for like for the books. Like I'm not a book guy. I was a very handy, like I'm yeah. for my hands, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had a very I have a very low concentration in a certain way, you know, like like for me I can't like if I had to study now, for example, right? I had to study uh, especially when it comes to navigation or taking it to the next level to walk with the stripes on the ships mm -hmm. i just felt like i couldn't do that right but little did i know that 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 was the start of my working career and that was the best start yeah. you know those guys hammered yeah. me they put you in a boom mm -hmm. you start working and knocking your door the eyes even large lap you know obviously bro they were oh, there the yes you learn discipline as the as the as the as the, as the lowest ranking on the ship that's where they put me in discipline yeah. i have to make sure that the guys are awake yes. so i'm gonna be first up I will make sure that the, 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 everybody above me is awake, you know, they will of course wake up, but I have to make double check and just make sure that I'm not there when that guy is, if, if anybody overslept and I overslept. And that's what actually threw me as a person and that's what gave me that. And, you know, as a journey, and that is what I'm telling people, you know, going as a mentor, as you would say, now in trading, it's more than just trading. And what I picked up is that a lot of guys got into this game as mentors, but they don't really have much prior experience with that, you know, where if I look at it, I, for me, it's like, you know, coming into this whole training thing, for example. We all know it's 90% psychology. Mm -hmm. it is. It's 90% psychology, well, right? Say psychology is a whole different bracket. Yes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yes. I would say trading and risk management and risk to reward is in one bracket. And then yes. the psychology part is essentially, I believe that who you are as a person dramatically affects the psychology of who you are as a trader. Yes. So it's like, like you said, people come into the space as mentors but they haven't really been mentors in any other space prior to being forex mentors yes. so how does that correlate how does that work it doesn't mean that if you're a good trader you're going to be a, a, a good mentor yeah, no. okay. you no, know, that's a mindset and i think that's yes, what yeah it's like just yeah. listening to you once again i think the key thing once again is the foundation you built this was based on hard work mm. hard work suffering and understanding that i'm here now but i'm not going to stay here yes. mm. i'm going to find a way someday to get out of this and i mean this is what you're sitting at now but you still understand hard work and i always say this in this way i grew up in a farm very really bad situation stayed in the caravan and i had to build myself up on that level but now if you come in Ask me, let me, let's quickly do this, let's do this, I'll do it. Yes, I'll yes. get a, start a whole pool, pool now, give me that uh, graph and I'll yes, quickly yes, do yes, it. Yes, yes. Because I'm not afraid of hard work and yes, that's the yes, thing, it's, that's my mindset and I think for you, and that's what a lot of people don't understand, if you're following this guy and you want him to be your mentor and all he's doing is in the, in the club, showing bottles, all those type of things, you never see trading, you never see mindset, you mm. never see him speaking. It's just always, look guys, 10,000, 10 million dollars, done yeah. 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 For, for, the, for the minute. So why do you think I've got this big on my chest, underdog? Why do you think I went with the name underdog? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, choosing a name, you know, these to make sense. You know, these to make sense. And like you said, um, as underdog FX, you know, it's it's more than just it's more than just trading. Yeah. You know, and as a brand, and and, and 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 me being the captain of the ship, coming to an industry that you know a lot of people, and I was one of them. You know, I got sold by popping bottles. I got sold yeah, by the fancy about, cars. Yeah, I got sold by all of these things. You know. And it's much more deeper than that. And you remember, I was a guy, like currently now, I don't charge anybody anything. If you sign up with the link, and I tell people very straightforward, yeah. I do get rebates from my broker. Yeah. They, I don't hide it. Yeah, but you don't have to pay me, so I'm saving you. You need a broker to trade. If you're an inspiring yeah. trader, you need a broker to trade. Yeah. You know, and at the end of the day, is I don't have to hide anything. Like, I had some, some quarrel the other day. Now, I'm also a very straightforward person. Like, yeah. I'm a good person, I have a good heart, because I give everything I learn, and, and whoever's a student, whoever's in my groups know, I will give it away. I don't charge you. If I find gold now, which I did find gold, part of underdog strategy, there's gold there, right? Yeah. But I give it away, you know? But I had something the other day, and I told this guy straight, and on this podcast, I want to tell people, don't play with me. Like, don't mess with me also. Yeah. I can have a good heart, but don't stand on my toes. Really you know, for me, is God didn't make me look like Shook Knight for no other reason. Yeah. You know, and if we want to bamba, we can bamba, you know? But at the end of the day, a guy, uh, you know, somebody, 
he was in the group and saying because i posted a video with alex at marcus.com whatever and then he put it in his group that oh this guy is just busy chasing rebates he's a rebate i'm like bro at the end of the day is i've got the skill that people need yes. right number one i don't charge people for set up signals i'm one of the only guys who trade live i trade live for the last quarter of 23 i was trading live trading i go on telegram i was on live so now you tell me am i talking nonsense and that gave more people momentum to trade because my screen is on there, we're only entering, we see this and the other, and that also help people. And that was the next level I put it on. So at the end of the day is, yes, you sign up with a link, with my link, that's a rebate I get back. But you need to trade with a broker. So why wouldn't you respect me enough to give me a little bit of rebates? It's not taking nothing from you. It's not taking anything with you. Yes, so for me, it's just, I'm an IBM, that's what I'm pushing. I push it in a way that I'm on a trade, I'm a trader, I have to make money off trading. I don't want have money off selling a course, I don't have money off signals, I'm here to help the community. And that is called underdog ethics. Because one day you're gonna make sense. Because for me, I know that when we, when we really eat numbers, this is going to be one of the biggest brands. This is going to be the biggest brand in South Africa, hands down. Yeah. This is going to be the biggest brand, hands down, you know. At the end of the day is, why I know that is that, number one, the only thing is time. Time is where we're at. And number two is capital. Mm -hmm. So the guys, it's longer than me in the game. I'm only, this is my, I'm two and a half, going for my third year now. So this in trading, you know. So for me is, of course, this guy's longer, so the capital is a bit bigger than mine. But believe you me, when I reach a certain level, we've got our berate. We're going to bomb and people's going to know. Yeah. And like I'm saying, this is also part, but I'm also only doing this to a certain extent. Yeah. Because when I, so I tell people, sign up, I'm here now. Because when I reach a certain level, I've also had big dreams. I've hustled all my life. I've worked hard. I've been on C. I ran a business now. From 2015, I ran a business. We're 2024 now, which we do the calculations is what? Nine years? Nine years. Nine years right? So I'm nine years self-employed. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day is why I also chose Forex then and, 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 and being self-employed is that, man, it was good. It's good running your own business. Don't get me wrong. It's the best thing. Yeah, yeah, but mm -hmm. for me, I just feel that like it's what I've seen in training, why I've given all my time for Forex and business that I don't want that anymore where mm -hmm. I, had big, I had good clients. I had big clients. But you know what really irritated me was I have to wait for this signature. I have to yeah. send an invoice. I have to wait a week or two. And I can't operate like that. And that's why I'm hot push. That's why I push Forex. So I want to make money now. And I need something. I'm going to make money now. Okay, then it's a waste. Why don't you wait? And it's yeah. different. It's a whole different thing yes. again. I've said it on three different podcasts now, and I want to emphasize it in the sense of the way you make money. It doesn't. You don't have to come into training to get rich, bro. It's the way you make your money that's essentially going to change your lifestyle. Yes. If you know making money out of a normal business or a nine to five or owning a business yes. is drastically different to making the same amount of money but with trading. Yes. Because trading is essentially the lifestyle is what is the best out of it all. Yes, it's the most lucrative or one of the most lucrative mm -hmm. industries out there, but how you make your money for me is essentially going to dictate whether you're a happy person or a sad person. So for me, what I like about trading is that, of course, don't get me wrong, I still want to do a lot of business. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. you know, you know, growing a business from the ground up, I've never had invest in my business. I've never had a bank behind me. I've never had overdraft facilities. I've never had another stuff in my business. I started from the ground up. And there's a podcast. You can go ask my ex, uh, my ex business partner, Abamba. Small amount of money, I made money, yeah. right? Mouth, operate, you know, mouth and operate. I used to operate, right? And at the end of the day was, but being in that position I was in, it was a lot, I had to work, push, work, push. Mm -hmm. Where I'm going to use Forex money just to fuel things. I will eventually do so many things because I'm out of money you make in trading. And then I'm saying there's levels to this thing. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invest a lot of my Forex capital into businesses. If it doesn't work, yeah. we just shut it down. I have a recent level that I don't want to stress anymore. Yeah. If, I, if I start the operation, you manage this thing for me, you get your, the people who's doing the operations, you make sure it runs smoothly. If it doesn't run smoothly, you guys to blame. Yeah. You guys are only to blame. Whatever you guys need, we'll lay the infrastructure, we'll do whatever you need to, to, to give your clients the best of the best. And you know, for me, I'm very over quality. And so everything I do, I always make sure that we give the best of the best, yeah. right? But Forage is going to allow me to start and venture the things, but it's going to be a way that I can be chilling on the island somewhere. This is my life I want to live. I want to be trading and I want to be chasing summer all year long. You know, I want to be operating and then, hey, yeah, it's coat now. I'm going to put a coat in the car. I want to leave. You know, I want to pack my bag and be like, you know what, where's the next summer? Because all I have is I need my laptop, I need my cell phone, and then we're making money, you know? So that is what, that is what, that is what I want people to see. And at the end of the day, I've also treated the thing with time. So to be honest with you, to be very, very honest with you, um, if I look at all the big traders, if I look at the guys on, on Instagram, if I look at all these people on social media, you know, if I look at the style of trade, I do exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. And that is why I tell people, you know, get the skills at first, everything must come. And I know my time is coming, you know what I'm saying? Sure. But I can clearly say that there will be nobody 
to even say, yo, that guy scammed me. Yo, that guy took my money. The, I, I'm promising you, at the end of the day is, if you're with me, I'm very open, I'm very straightforward. I tell you the risk behind this thing. I show you what the truth behind this thing is. And that is what I'm here to do, you know? I also stand up, sorry, I also stand up a lot for this industry. Like, I get very irritated when people talk about this gambling, no, it's gambling. Let me tell you guys something. Everything in life is a gamble. If you have a plan, an idea, and you want to do something, and you decide, okay, this might work. I'm going to open up a donut shop and I'm going to open me a shop in the corner. You just take a gamble mm. because you might open and lay this whole store out and get all the equipment and you don't sell no donuts. So I tell you, that's life. You have to take the risk. No risk, no reward. No risk, no rari. Yeah, <laughs> that is. I've spoken about that so Facts. Trading in, trading in any other business is the same. There's risk involved, there's reward involved, and it's like... I think it's not just business, I think it's life. Life, life is a risk. Life. 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 Waking, up, waking up is a risk. Walking out of your door is a risk. You, I mean, you see sad things. This person's always going to work and the bus knocked you over. A car, a life is just a risk. Stop overthinking the shit and give it a go properly, though. Like, whether it be mm. trading or business or 9 to 5, or like, stop sitting on your bed thinking, ah, oh, th this is involved and I must do this and I must do... But what if this... But Bro, just do it because you're gonna die at some day yeah. anyway, bro. So, I mean, that's why I appreciate these kind of things, you know. I'll come in here and I, this is just who I am. Yeah. And, you know, that is what Faris also allows you to do. Certain times, like, you know, as a business owner, you know, you have other, your, your clients is in control. You might say something on air that they don't like and they will squash you immediately. They will drop you immediately, you know. And that is why I'm grateful for Forex. Is that it's me and the charts. It's me and, the, it's me and my own, you know. You can never, you can't shut me. Only God can shut me down. There's no man. There's no man that can shut me down. Yeah. But God, right? And that's one thing I believe in. But when it comes to people, I'm a jump on a podcast. And that's why I, this is my first podcast now as a trader, you know, and I'm so excited. I want to do so much more of this stuff, you know, yeah. because it allows me to be free. Yeah. It allows me to, if you want to connect, you can connect. If you don't yeah. connect, then just put, change the channel. Yeah, exit. If it's not for me, exit. Don't still hate on it. Don't do this. This is who I am. And that's what I like about Forex. It allows me to be who I want to be. It allows me to say certain things. Of course, I have to filter. Right? I will filter to a certain extent, but it allows me to be open, to be honest. And sometimes the truth hurts. And sometimes the truth, you need to know the truth. That's what I like about you is you don't need to come here and say things that you don't need to say because you're dependent on classes and signals and all that. That's the beauty of it. You're dependent on you. That's I the think beauty that's, of it. That's why I love playing golf. Yes. Because golf is a one-man team. I always say it to him, it's like, I prefer having all this stress on me and putting everything on my shoulders. Yeah. With the business, I mean, you, you know that, okay, well, you're dependent on clients, you're dependent on systems working, dependent on all these things coming together. Where with Forex, it's like, did you put in the work? Do you understand what you're doing? Do you have a plan mm -hmm. in place? And that's it. And if you keep following it, that's when it comes back to what you said in the end. You have your goal, and if you every day arrive, that's the only way you're going to succeed. Yeah. If you keep going on, you're never going to, to die, and that's it. And with the, what someone once said to me is, if you stress, you die. If you don't stress, you die. Yes. Yeah. So yes. why do you stress? So that's the end of the day. So just going back to that, you know, and that's one thing. And that's one thing I want a lot of guys, a lot of people to, like even people come to me, I said, I will teach you whatever. Right? I can't reach everybody. So if you do venture off and you're going to start teaching people, please don't charge the people. Mm -hmm. People always say, yes, you have to pay for the skill. Da, 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 da. Yes. There's so much information out there. And if you push yourself to be a trader and to make money off the markets, you, at, the, at the moment, if I don't feel like going to my group for one week or two weeks, who are you to tell me that I must come there, you don't pay me anything? This is a service here, so I can do what I want to do and how I want to do it. Yeah. I mean, it's psychology. What if I, life, I'm also a human being, I'm not AI, I'm not a robot. So at the end of the day, is what if life happens to me? Do you expect me to give you a setup or a signal and blow your money? No. But the moment, and that's why I want these guys to steer away, stay. You see, once you offer a service, and there's, there's, a, there's a lot of good traders. Yeah. There's a lot of good traders, but because a lot of them based their, 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 their business deal around scores, around signals, and that is when they actually make a bad name for themselves. They lose, the vision. they lose the vision, and that is the problem. And I want these guys, I mean, we can be helping people, we can be pushing people. And like I said, man, the eBay structures me more than enough. If you're trading, I'm just straightforward. I mean, the broker puts it on his thing, become a partner. Why must I hide it? There's nothing to hide. The broker says on his way, become a partner. So why don't you become a sub IB under me? You know, why don't you do stuff like that? And at the end of the day, is if you're trading, you're making money off the charts and off the markets. That is just a bonus. Yeah. Bro, do you know that rebates? I know if I worked it out, if you have a certain amount of people, you can make coin, you can make 10 grand a day, you can make 20 grand a day on the rebates, you can make a lot of money. And I'm just straightforward. Why not? I can make a 50 grand in my trading one day, every day, as if I must hit certain targets, and why would I want another 50 grand on the rebates? Why not? Why not? But at the end of the day is, as so long I'm keeping it ethical, I'm teaching the people, I'm doing the right thing, 
And if I don't smart to get into the group, or not don't smart, if I can't mentally be there, something happens, life happens. Yeah. If life happens to me, and I can't mentally get in there, people are, uh, I can't see you, I'm gonna see, I'll let you guys when, I, when I'm ready. Yeah, that's, that's it. There's nothing more to it. But the moment you pay me, it's the moment you're gonna hammer me. Yeah. The moment you pay me, it's the moment you're gonna hammer me. And that's all the things that I wanna be out there. That's why I put in the underdog ethics, you know? I want to inspire people, especially the young guys coming up. The young guys coming up because I believe that the generations to come, this thing is about to blow up. Mm. Trading is about to blow up. I think trading is only, people say that uh, trading is running out, but I think we're only getting started. Only getting started. I just think yeah, there's a new generation coming through where people like you with mindsets. So that's one thing that you also said is, even if, let's say you're a good trader, yes. but you're promoting the wrong mindset and all that, all your students are never going to be a good trader. Yes. Because although you give them the skill, you're not giving them the mindset, and that's where it comes back to do the same thing. And I think the coming back to the rebates thing, it's, it's the same thing. Like, you're the second trader. I mean, I've been in the industry for nine years. Yes. You're the second trader that's been transparent about multiple incomes yes. from the broker and all that. Yes. And I mean, with Carl, Carl literally puts his face on Instagram and says, Guys, I'm partnering with this broker. This is how the structure works. If people ask him, it is what it is. And there's, that's nothing, a, there's nothing to no. like, there's nothing to hide. I yeah. mean like I don't <laughs> understand how there's something like bro, people who aren't in the forex industry might tell you, Oh you rebates, oh bro, people are always gonna say something. Yeah. So it's like okay, you're not making re rebate money. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. No, no, I'm well, saying yeah, it's like cool. everyone what? everyone makes rebate money in a way if you look at once again a bodybuilder. Yeah. <laughs> If a bodybuilder has a, a lot of clients, he's going to sign with you, and he's going to sign with something, so he's making rebates from a supplement that he's selling to someone. Yeah. You know, sometimes we just out there to, to convert the small minds, man. We have to convert them to show them there's many ways that you can do income. At the end of the day, I'm going to be honest with you, when I reach certain levels, when I reach certain levels, and people want one-on-one -on -one of me, you're going to pay. If you're going to pay. Yeah. If I'm going to pull up, and I've reached a level that I'm pushing myself to, mm -hmm. you're going to pay for my time. Then you're gonna respect me. Then if you want one on one, and you know that's just part of life. You have to level up. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, you have to level up. So I'm here now, but I've always told people that if I come to the next two to three years, I don't want to talk about forex to nobody. But if I, if you know that, oh, this guy, and that's what I'm building. You're gonna pay top dollar per hour. You're gonna pay, and I'm gonna make sure you pay. You know. But at the end of the day, that will just be my target market. That might just be a multi million. That will make more millions on top of his millions. But okay, you want me to come? You want to come and see me, or you want you you do you want me to come and see you? This is my rate per hour. I might hit you with a 5k an hour, I might hit you with a 10k an hour, I might hit you with whatever I want to hit you with. Mm. So for me is you can make money to a certain extent, but I'm in a position now that I want to help the people. I've also given out a lot of money to learn the skill. And I just feel that the value I got was, nah. It's not worth it. Like, nah. The value I got for what I paid for, the, you guys just sold me the dream. You guys sold me the dream and I kept on pushing. I want to ask you essentially, well, how did your... How did your trading journey go? Like, how, how did it start? How did you get into it? And then how did you essentially get to the point of profitability? Like, So, so, so for me, um, my, training, my journey started in a way, once again, because of clothing. So because I was well, good in clothing, I, I mean, that's just where, like I said, clothing, this, this clothing opened up a door, a lot of doors for me, right? Um, I worked with, I was a music manager and I worked with the artist and he uh, did like a feature with the, with the Forex trader, right? And that's how I got into it. You know, we flew up to Johannesburg and these guys were living crazy life. Like, yo, I hustle hard, you know, but the way you guys work and trading, that is what actually flipped and that's what I got into it, right? But, you know, going along the line, I'm not going to say no names on this cost, right? Yeah. I'm not here because at the end of the day is, um, sometimes I feel the guys are caught me in the industry, not worth their neighbors. Don't, I don't want my, their name to come out of my mouth. You know, I'm not going to give them no airtime. I mean, that's just how I am. But, you know, with that, I just felt that I was sold the dream, you know? And of course, all of us want what they have, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And all good and well, but I just felt that, you know, what they put out there, once they got your money, they never actually valued you as a person. Mm. They never actually put in and made sure and went to levels um, to help you actually make it, if you get what I'm saying. And I'm grateful for the handful of people I've got in my group. And I've told myself, I'll have a handful of people, right? Then you can have a post and flesh, you've got thousands of people in your group, but I'll make sure my handful of people surpass oh, all your people. Oh, yeah. Because I'll have 50 to 100 millionaires and have 100,000 people. That, you know what I'm saying? Because you're not, you, you have so much people, but now, now, now what are you building? What are you overcoming? You, how do you reach and how do you transform this 1,000 to 5,000 people, you know? Yeah, because if, you, if you're obviously trading and, and obviously mentoring people, your mindset should mo mostly be like money is power. Yes. Mm -hmm. But like if you have uh, 10,000 students and you're flexing the whole time about 10,000 students, but they each have $20 accounts and they keep blowing. Yes. 
You don't have power, isn't it? You don't have power. You don't have power. Exactly. It's the same. He has a, like, yeah. a lot of funded clients. I've got a lot of clients essentially on my group or in my academy and shit like that. But the quality of, first of all, the information that you're receiving is second to none, bro. And then the results speak for themselves essentially. So it's like, I can, I don't, nobody can tell me shit about this <laughs> trading thing, bro, in the sense of like, I've gone through it all and I've gotten to this point where I've passed on the skill and not only have I passed on the skill but the people who have received the skill from me are absolutely killing it mm. in the sense of I would say probably one of the highest success rates in the country at the moment Yes, yes. and that makes me so comfortable in my own shoes because if you're going to come to me and say bah, 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 he doesn't do this or he doesn't make the money that he says he makes or blah 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 I'm going to block my ears and say, you crazy, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm spend a day in my life and you'll be able to see how different it is to what you expected it is. Yes. You get what I'm trying yes. to say? Yes. So I don't really care about people's opinions when the results are out there for you to see. I'm always sharing student mm. results. I'm always sharing all of these things. That you, We all know how difficult mm. it is to become a funded trader. Yes. Now, I'm not just a funded trader, but in the academy, about... 35% of the academy yes. I have helped become funded. So it's like mind boggling in that sense. And this is not what a robot or no, without that, I would, um, that this is doing my course, going to the academy, taking your taking time, like, and, and essentially self sufficiently becoming funded and staying funded. You know what I'm trying to say? And that's where I believe the value can be put, like you said, you can charge any price at that, yes. at that point. Yes. I think that's where you're going. So I'm going to a point where people are really struggling, right? I'm also, for me, it's like, like I said, I was sold a dream. And at the time, I was grateful that my business, the cloning business was on its peak. So I was making money, making money, making money. I was, a lot, I was in hot demand at the time, you know? And for me, I, of course, lost a lot of, lost a lot of money learning this thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, going through that, I know that, for me, as the type of person I am, and I just came to a point where, you know what, a lot of people are trying, people can make it, people can, like, this is a big thing. And this, is a, this can give a lot of people opportunity, right? And you know where I'm at, I'm like, why must I charge people? Yeah. Why must I charge people? Yeah. Uh, l let, me, let, me, let, me, let me put it out there, let me help the next person. Mm. At the end of the day, I know, and that is why, if my stu people in my group knows, if I go in, I do live trading, I don't say in Dubai, yo, I, give, I go live, yeah. right? I put on my screen and we go live. Mm. I'll sit in my trade room and they know I sit five hours in the life yeah. until we get a trade. Yeah, and that is how I push myself. And that is how I want to help people, you know. And with that, like I said, at the end of the day is I'm here to help the people at the bottom. I also want to eliminate these guys because like I said, these guys sell you guys. A lot of people sell you the dream and because they irritate the living shit out of me. Because when I see them pop up, like, bro, you keep on selling. And eventually, you know, you can't focus on that yeah. people all the time. You need to care. You move on with life. Yeah. And now this whole, they work in a cycle. So, you know, Okay, that, that group of people forgot about it, so we just keep on doing and yeah, just yeah. without scandals, right? Yeah. But little do they know that I'm actually training myself up because I actually want to call them out. Like, like they have celebrity boxing, we're going to have forex boxing very soon, yeah. you know? Yeah. I want to call out a lot of the mentors that I operated with, you know? And I want to call them out and you know, with proceeds, we'll go to charity. Your students and my students, we can fill up an arena or we can fill up a space. Because you know what, at the end of the day, is, I've come to a point that this is such a good industry. This is such a good industry. At the end of the day, is to become a doctor, to become a lawyer, to become all these things, you have to put in time. As parents, you know what? Parents are too scared for the kids to get in the scene because the first thing is gamble. Mm -hmm. But little do you know that support your child. Let the child go to the same thing as a doctor would go, as a lawyer would go, as it's whatever it would go. Because me and you guys know that if you're on levels on this thing and you've got a trading account, you can actually make a doctor's money in a day or two. We go know that. That's no, there's no lies about that, right? The bigger your account, the bigger your lot size, you know what you're doing, you can do that. And my, my thing in, 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 as underdog if is to show people, and that's why I defend my thing a lot, like, what do you do? I'm a trader, man. Mm. It doesn't mean that I don't have a Ferrari, or I don't have a Lamborghini, or I don't stay up in the hills. Yeah. I'm a trader. And I always tell people, success is not making 100, 200, 300K. Mm. I, I call it success is that if you need a 20, 30 grand, and you're comfortable, then to make that. That's if that is your success, don't push yourself further than that. Don't let these guys sell you that. You're only successful if you buy yourself a Bugatti or stuff like that. Yes, you get, you've reached the ultimate success if you do those things. But if you're in the capacity that you just want to make 10, 20 grand a month of trading, why not? Uh, I'm like, promising you that this, we have to flip the game. We have to flip the script, you know? We talk about that. Like every time on the podcast, off the podcast, we always say that. Like I think we've spoken about it like 12 times. And the but the thing is, it's right? like, I think when, when we talk as well, the thing is we know where the vision is, we know what we're doing, we know what we've been through. And 
once again, so many traders always come through and I mean, me and Carl actually, I mean, the previous podcast, I went to the bathroom, yes. took a trade, called yes. Sal, played out perfectly. Yes. I didn't have to go up there, take a video of it. I mean, it's my trade, yeah, yes. my thing. Yes. And we always say that you don't have to chase your lifestyle. You don't have to chase yeah. the understates lifestyle, whatever it is. You need to chase your own goals and just to get to level one, level two, level three, level five. Mm-hmm. And I said the other day, yesterday we, we were waiting for a gold trade, the one that I actually took mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. And he said, just, I missed it and you would have made $5,000. Yes. And everyone was like, okay. And I'm like, I don't think you guys understand. You would literally make $5,000. $5, like, it's not a joke. And I mean, that's what a, a doctor it's is getting. This thing is and crazy. It's life changing, man. This is life changing. And especially now, well, obviously the prop firm space now is in a, in a slight iffy yeah, space. I've done, I've done a lot of research in the sense of where the prop firm space is. And I don't think it's the prop firm space. I think it's singular firms mm, mm. doing certain things essentially mm-hmm. that's ending up in them flopping but yes, the prop yes. firm space i can i can confidently say that i believe it's here to stay whether mm. it goes through a bit of if he's time yes, where we yes. need regulations to come in yes. i know that it's here to stay essentially it's probably one of the best business models out there to own a prop firm what do you think about the prop firm or prop firm thing so for me it's like <clears throat> that is um to be honest with you that's the best way to make good money because of the capital you trade. Mm. But to be honest with you, that is not anybody's cup of tea. Yeah. I did it for some time, but you know, it's a very, it's a different mental. You have to be in a whole yeah. different mental space, right? At the end of the day is, train, like for me, I've tried the prop firm thing. Like I said, that it's the best thing could happen. Yeah. But mentally, I'm not there yet. Yeah. Because I'm building myself and I'm building my capital. I think as the bigger you get in capital, I think I would then go into prop firm. Yes, I'm still chasing trade withdrawal, so trade like, withdrawal, trade like withdrawal. So for me, it's like I'm, I'm building, 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 where I think that when I'm more comfortable, I'll be able to sit back and to sit back and I'll do prop firm. Because for me, it's like, I mean, you could have, uh, like with trading, I could have a bad week and I could have a very good week the next week and I could withdraw because yeah. my rest of the order is good. So I could lose so much, but the next week is a winner for me and I can withdraw. But on the prop firm, I'm supposed to come back. And then I must go past. And I, it's not, that, I'm going to be honest with you. Guys who trade prop firm, I add soft to you guys. Yeah. If you trade prop firm, that's next level. That's honestly next level. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, is it's a thing where the, the, the rules behind it, it's, something, it's, 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 it's heavy, it's hectic, you know? This is the honest truth. Is prop firms are set up for you to fail. That's yes. the honest truth. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yes. I'm not saying that I'm for prop firms or against prop firms. I think, once again, when I started trading, they, there wasn't a solution. Yes. So we all had to go and do some sketchy things to get money. Yes. And, uh, yes. It's a, a thing of, it's always the, the problem, is capital. But for me, once again, it gives you the opportunity, and that's why I said, when I'm saying you're three years in, it's still young. It's yeah. like uh, the fact that you think like you think you do what you do, and obviously you're pushing like you're doing, and it's three years in, is it's quite amazing. And your mindset about the industry, it seems like you're a veteran. Yeah, so for me, it's like, remember, I'm, I'm only three years in late in the year, August. Yeah. I'm three years in, so I'm just past my two years into my third year, right? But like I tell people, at the end of the day was, and I should have been way further. I should have been way further in my job, way, way further. Because afterwards they realized, like, my bro, why don't you bring your business? You haven't been a businessman for how many years? Yeah. The moment I've started bringing that in, I brought it in late. But yeah. I mean, we all have to mess up. Yeah. And we all come with a gambler's yeah. mindset. Yeah. We all want to load account. Yeah. If I sit back now, like, my bro, why did you press buy on MetaTrader? Actually, why did you press sell? <laughs> that is actually gambling. Yeah. Because if I look back at it now, and I look back at myself then, I'm like, bro, what are you actually doing? You know, yeah. I lost so much money that yeah. I didn't need to lose, you know? So, but I'm here now, and that's why I want to be a very strong voice. Like, you're going to lose money. It's lessons. You, it's like a, a business. You're going to start up a business, you're going to have to find a lot of things out, and you're going to lose. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to, for example, let's make it a bakery. You open up a bakery. Home, your first batch of rolls might not be perfect, and then you just lost the whole batch. This happened, that, it's all TV, everything is TV, and it's, it's the same with Forex, you're going to go through that. My thing is like, I just don't want you guys to lose a lot. Yeah, You're right. going to lose and losses is what's going to push the next level. Because that's what pushed me like my bro Naiman. You can't lose the whole time here. So you have to go sit and you have to put. Forex is the thing, I, like I told you, I'm not very book, book, book. But I'm telling you people, because the possibilities behind Forex. Mm. No bro, I said day and night. Day and night, I converted my garage, my car parked outside. I converted my garage into a tiny right. space. Yeah. I didn't need my own space. Yeah. And I would sit and purely based of the courses I did, of course, use certain models, but I've simplified it so much, especially when it comes to NASDAQ and US 30, right? So, so I only trade NASDAQ, right? I, I, I married one pair. I find it very difficult to, to jot around the two. Yeah, 
I, you, I don't know how people do that. I know it's good for your rebates yeah. and stuff like that, but I don't know how people can jot around different things. Yeah. That's one thing I can't do. If I look at NASDAQ, I've mastered it. If I catch a thousand pips, that's more than enough. Mm -hmm. So that is my style of trading. One P, one thousand pips a day, it's for the win. Yeah. It's for the win, you know? All you're going to do, and all I'm doing is um, I have to up my lots. I up, all I want to do is just up my lot size, up my account size, up my lot size. And if I'm doing the same, the same thing and I spend in for the next two years in NASDAQ, it's crazy. Yeah. I know in the next two years, and at the end of the day, is if you look at it, right? We sit here, you know, we sit on the podcast, you know, it's a live account. You can see here, check there, Marcus.com. Yeah. Marcus.com, look at my trade, look at my, my account balance there. It's, it's yeah. live. You know, Pampa, yeah, we operate here, yeah, you know, so at the end of the day, it's, it's levels of the stuff. Yeah. But I've built myself and I grow myself just trading one pay. I love trading one pay. I look at it. I marry it. I speak to you all the time. Like, baby, why are you making me lose now, man? I'm just, yeah, I married you, you know? Um, I, I won't lie to you. Um, you know, 2024 also started different for me. A lot of things going on. I'm going to speak about my personal life. So even in my group, the people in my group know, you know, um, what's the date today? Today is the 16th of February. You guys know, I like, even in my group, and that's the nice thing of not charging people, you know. I haven't been very much active in my group because I've been in a personal capacity, you know. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's, it's like, why the hell would I want to come and join, do a live, or send you a setup if I'm mentally not in a certain space? Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of not charging people. Yeah. If you want to leave, you can, can there's a you. door, what's that song? There's yeah. a door. You can leave if you want to leave, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. At the end of the day, is and... I want people to understand that you will go so much more further if you just focus on the skill, put you the money and make your money. Yeah. Help people around the way. Become an IB. Get you a good broker. And number one, I always tell people, I've been with different brokers. I've been an IB with different brokers. Yeah. But I always pray that, you know what, just lead me in the right direction. And after that, marks.com, because you know, we've got license all over the world. We've got ODP also. We've got all of those things, right? Yeah. We've got the best spread. I've signed up with the best spread. And to be straightforward, when it comes to my rebate structure, I could get, I could make more money of lots traders, but yeah. I took less to give you guys the best, better spreads. Better spreads. And I, that is how much I want, okay. and that is what how much I want my people to win in this thing. Yeah. So at the end of the day, is people, you know, we're out here. It's underdog FX. It's for the win. It's always going to be for the win, you know. And at the end of the day, like I said, it's the most challenging part for me is that I'm still building. I'm still growing a lot. I still got a lot of build and growth to do, and I'm taking. I put everybody. I put a lot of weight on my shoulders, but it drives me. When I wake up, when I go live, you know, I want people to eat teepees. And people can, men lie, women lie, but unfortunately numbers don't. Yeah, yeah. And if you come in my group and you do my live, you will see there. I can be on a podcast, you can go to another podcast. I've been doing live trading. When I went through a little scope in 2024, I stopped live trading. Mm. I stopped giving setups. Why? I need to first get my mental. I was trading on my own, yes. Yeah. But I need to first figure out what I went through that didn't have a negative impact onto my own trading. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's a, I think that's the power of it. It's when, when 2020, when it, everything went bad for me, yes. it's like I told them, guys, I lost three million rand. I, I, I'm gone. I'll <laughs> see you in six months. Yeah. Yes. And I said to everyone, and after that, I just never went back into the education space. But And I said to him as well, the thing is, I just knew I'm not mentally young. Yeah. Um, the thing is, yes, I can take trades yeah, and all that and show everyone that, I'm, that I can still trade. But for me, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I mean, he's a better trader, not, not better, but I think he's a bigger trader than me yes, at the moment. Yes, yes. So I don't have the right to say, okay, I'm going to sell you a class for 10k. Um, yes, yes. And I'm truthful about that, and I think that's the the thing that um, that you stand for. And I, I must say, obviously, we will we'll end up now as well. I think it was a good podcast, but I must just say from my side as well that I really appreciate you for you. Thank you. 100%. Thank you. I think uh, the person that you were up there, the person that you're down here is the same thing. Yeah. The same energy, underdog. Uh, I think let's it's keep moving with That's the beauty, man. That's the nice thing, people. If you don't, if you look here, I'm promising you, this is what this forest is supposed to be. Yeah. Be yourself. You know, at the end of the day, you can get tied up. And you, sometimes, as be, especially as a business owner, yo, that used to irritate me. Look, I, live, I, I tried to be myself to an extent, but there was a part that I had to be somebody different. You know what I'm saying? The way I speak, the way I do this. This is, ah, this is how I grew up. This is the way I speak and I don't have to change for anybody. Yeah. Like I said, only God can take what he's put out for me away from me. There's no man, unfortunately, can take it away from yeah. me. I you know what I'm saying? So that's a privilege. And that's thanks to Forex. Thanks to trading. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, as we grow um, and as we go, uh, things are going to get crazy. Things are about to get big. And, you know, people, all I want to tell the people is this is why I am Shawnee Khan. We keep it real. We keep it straight. And I'm out here to help in social media. I'm out to help you. I'm here to show you the truth. And uh, with that, showing you guys the truth, I want a lot of success out of that. That's what actually gives me a thrill. Mm -hmm. 
for me is that I want to like for me like I'm so grateful to be straightforward. Don't edit this. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful of other mentors standing on social media. But no, why is your mentor, man? My goal is to let my own page. I don't want to post a lot about myself. I want to post about the guy who came out of my hands. Hey, this man bought him a new car. Hey, this man bought him a new house. Hey, this man is overseas now. You know, that is what I'm striving to do is, is to see me through people. And then that's actually for the win. And you know, to build in a business, you must know as, 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 as how could you say it now, as different brands. Brands is competition. Competition is competition, bro. And you got to step up your game and you need to show us that is what I want to do as my brand. Underdog FX, what we want to do is I want to see my, I'm going to say my success through people now. Yeah. Because what is different than other the brand? So you are, I, yes, I'm going to flex in a way when I start making, been doing big things, but I also want to put my people. I think yeah. there's people. a difference between flexing and just appreciating what you have. So people, I will appreciate it, but I'm going to be also op open and honest. When I do certain levels, I'm going to flex and I'm going to flex big because I worked yeah. very hard to get to a point. Yeah, a and if you don't like it, just please unfollow. Not, you know, I, that will be, I don't want people to not sleep at night because of me. I know that you, like people don't know my journey. I've been through that. I've been through a divorce. I've been through a breakup of a, a what you call engagement breakup. I've been through all that stuff in life, right? So you don't know what I've been through and what I've been through in hustling and doing what I need to do to survive, you know? So at the end of the day is I feel that there will come a point where you will take it as a flex, but I will flex. But there's a difference between flexing and flexing on people. <laughs> like yes. people are constantly thinking you're flexing on them when that is not what you're doing but yes. you're flexing what you have worked for essentially yes. showing people like look well, let me go rectify that i want to inspire you yeah, exactly. i want to inspire you let me sometimes you know what because I, I like to be straight man so sometimes we just kick back i want to inspire you yeah. like you know what you remember i said i wanted to buy me a lamborghini i actually bought it now yes, yeah. you know i said i wanted a rolex i wanted this stuff I, why, why, all of us why would you want a ferrari yeah. why would you want a lamborghini why would you want to stay in camps please don't tell me why would you want to stay here yeah. we all if you get what i'm saying i'm pushing through it i failed a couple of times i've did crazy shit i've made bad decisions in life yeah. but you can only grow you can only grow as a person and when i get there People won't be taken as flexing. I don't care what people take yeah, it as. I'm going to be out here. I want to show you. I'm going to motivate you. I came from nothing. I've been through the most. But I'm here now. I kept on pushing. I kept on putting the work in. I kept on doing what I need to do. I kept on waking up every morning. Putting the time. Putting the effort. And it pays off. Hard work can only pay off. Yeah. If you're consistent and you keep on doing something, it can only pay off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, is, uh, life is like that. Sometimes you like feel it throwing the towel in. And that is why when it comes to trading, don't listen to somebody that threw the towel in. You lost a couple of hundred bucks and he's also talking too much. Bro, don't say nothing. Yeah. Shh, shh, don't. Because those negative people put the negative on the next person. Yeah. Now you must stop in. Yeah, your cousin, different. your uncle, your auntie, everybody trying to get in there because you lost a couple of bucks, but you didn't do the education, bro. Yeah. What did you expect? You could, for me, I always tell people, if you want to put money in a trading account, and you don't know why you're pressing buy or sell. Me, people, I suggest you go to Grand West, no? Go to Grand West and take the same thousand rand and first go have like a beer or something to drink and something yeah. to eat and put the change in the slot machine and then you do that. Because yeah. if you put the money in a trading account and you just push it by yourself, bro, I got bad, I got news for you. You ask, that's gambling. Yeah, gambling. That is pure state gambling, you know? So we're out here, we have to show people the truth, the life, proper risk management, proper strategy, proper mindset. It's for the win. And I believe that this thing is about to blow up. I can see it through my, my son. So my eldest is 15 years old. It's trading, trading, school work first, but uh, I can see through the, I can see through the circle of friends. Forex is the future. Yeah, you know you're a legit trader if you want to teach your kids for a year. Bro, my <laughs> kids, like, too, bro. Like, for me, it's just like, there will come certain levels. There will come certain levels when daddy's on certain levels where uh, my daughter's everybody. You come sit here next to daddy yeah. now and we trade, 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 trade. I said, trade, trade. To, I said to my girlfriend, my daughter is, is, is six now. And I said, I give it two more years. <laughs> then she's in the gym. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, it's, it's a, it sounds so weird, but the thing is, it's like, if it changed your life and it really affected your life, you should be pushing it on your kids. Yeah. And not just you, you will try, not in the sense of you will go to uh, university, you will try. It's just like, this will open your mind to things that you don't even understand. Yeah. So they, even if you're not a trader one day, you're going to have a mind that, that you will not get anywhere in the world with mm -hmm. trading. You learn more about economics from trading yeah. than anything in the world. Because when I started economics and even then I had no idea what, what exchange rates was and how it actually moves and how Forex was and Forex was so, as big as it is. And I think we're in a great time in, in the world where trading is becoming bigger and bigger. Yes. Um, and once again, I'll, I'll come back to and I'll end off with this where 
people like you are coming through and I think once again I want to see Flex in a few years. Yes. Because for you it's not gonna be Flex, it's gonna be Inspiration. being um, inspired. The power of manifesting and the power of hard work. Yes. And you're gonna be like the Conor McGregor of Forex where you're saying I won't stop until I buy my Wi Fi cars, I might yes. to the car every day. Yes. That's the type of person you are, and I truly believe you're gonna make it. I appreciate it. I wish you all the best. I appreciate it. And one thing I wanted to say, you know what? Phonics didn't just change, it's not just gonna change my bank account to it, it's also changed me as a person. Yes. That's one thing hands down, you know? This is something that really changed, and I'm, I'm grateful for trading. Yeah. You know, this brought out the side of me that, like, if you knew me, if you knew me personally, like two years ago, a year ago even, so, oh, I'm grateful for trading. It's not just about the money. I'm be honest, it's not just about the money. The way this thing has molded me as a person, you must remember, through your losses, through that, you, you, can see, you know what this thing can do for you. But this thing would literally open up. You must remember you sitting and you're waiting for trades and you got emotions attached. You know, you got emotions now when you're coming up into trading, you know? If I look at my two years ago or a year ago, you, you got emotions in this thing and this thing changed my life yeah. because this thing made me think deep while I'm waiting for the setup when I started advancing in my trading. While you're waiting for the setup, you know, this thing makes you think and you think deep. And when you lose, you don't understand the psychology. That this thing has brought the best out of me. Yeah. So I'm just grateful for trading in all aspects, not just about the capital or the money, yeah, right. not just about that. It's about the freedom. I'm a New York trader, and what I like about it is I trade in New York, so it's the afternoon. So the morning, I can go for my 10K walk. I push myself to the 10Ks in the morning. I push myself to, you know, work on my fitness and my health. And then I can do whatever, and then I can come to the charts at 2 or 3 o'clock, tune myself in, mm -hmm. trade. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we can get out quick. Sometimes we wait yeah. because it's a game of patience. You know, while you guys are all trying to jump in the market, I'll just sit back. If opportunities are there, I don't get in the market. Yeah, now funny it is because we all have the similar schedules. Yeah. <laughs> like, we literally go to the gym in the mornings, do your thing, and then I'm from 12 to 3, and he's also from like 4 o'clock. Yes, we're yes, in the yes, market, yes, and yes, I yes. think uh, that's above it. It's like you choose. Yes. And if you want to be yeah. a London open trader, yes. play London open. No, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying, to do now. I'm trying to go, I'm trying to get into Joe 30 now. I should start looking at that bit. So if I feel like, okay, tomorrow I want to do something in the afternoon, then I can catch my 1,000 per move on 30, you know? Yeah. So that's the nice thing about it. You can choose when you want to work. Yeah. So get the skill, sharpen up the skill, people. Just keep on pushing the skill, yeah. looking at it. Sometimes paper trade it. Demo trade it in the start, you must. I, I, I promise you people, once everything clicks and locks in, mm -hmm. you make money like there's nothing. Yeah. Make money like there's absolutely nothing. I show you guys now about my own trading account, it's a live account, a capital. I mean, I also started it small, but look where we're at now. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. look where we're at, and this is my third day thing. We can only progress anything in life, in business, and you can only move, you do the right thing. You can only go in one direction, 100%. right? So what are people? That's my name is Shawnee Khan. I'm set up Cape Town. Instagram, uh, Shawnee Khan. Carps at Underdog, you can search the Carps at Underdog. The reason for the name is that I believe that I'm the underdog, it's switching the industry. Yeah. And but you know what? The story is the underdog. For me, is one that I understand why I'm called the underdog. You yeah. know, while you're still looking at people, popping bottles, and you're doing all kinds of crazy yeah. stuff, you let me know how your trainers go. You let me know how your trainers go. Yeah. I'm keeping it real, I'm keeping it straight. If I do also, for me, also plan, if I do get things in life and I do achieve what I'm working towards, you'll see the other thing is done. You can go look back on my page, yeah, I bought me this, or I bought me that. Mm -hmm. It's there. I'm more about pushing people, I'm more about the skill, and that's what I'm here to do. Push you, push you, push you, push you, but I will develop into a way where I'm going to eventually to cut off. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling people, when I say sign up, pull through. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, that's a goal. Everybody got goals in life, and my biggest goal is to be free. Yeah. While I'm still in the group and doing setups and doing life, I'm not free yet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My goal is to be very free. And when I'm free, well, I tell people, come now, because when I reach certain levels, I want to, I don't want to, I want to be, like, I don't want to talk about forex, man. I don't want to be talking about trading. Then I automatically be the inspiration. Mm -hmm. Like, this, this levels, and this, this is my journey. So I plan to teach people for free. Whatever I learn, I put it there for free. As we progress, 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 with I reach certain levels, people, I'm going to start easing out of this game. Mm -hmm. Right? Whatever students of mine was, the other brand will never stop. So of course, obviously, you won't get to know Shawnee Khan, you won't yeah. know Shawnee Khan anymore, right? I won't be as, as, as active, if yeah, you get what I'm saying. Accessible. But then, all I will do is just inspire you. This is why you have to trade for yeah. us, you know? Yeah. I woke up in Greece this morning, you know, I woke up here this way this morning, I woke up over there, so I want to get traveling. Yeah. So, for, luckily for me, I filled up two passports working overseas, or working on sea. I filled mm -hmm. up two passports. So, I got to see the world, right? Yeah. So, that is one of my biggest goals, is traveling. And, um, you know, just be free. Um, of course, that time when I do that, money won't be a problem, so I'll just fly back. I'll just fly back and I've got kids, right? I've got four kids, so of course. My kids know that, um, I mean, the, 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 the three kids knew I wasn't C, or the two knew when I wasn't C, right? So I had that 
28 days away, 28 days at home. Yeah. When I first started on the container ships, I was six months away, six weeks at home, right? So as a traveler, of course, with the school holidays, the goals that I have, and for me, that is the thing. My flex is different. I don't want to just I don't know, just drink the energy and pop bottles. No, that is not gonna, you're not going to see that. If I do go out, I'm going to show you out, and I'm going to show you how I'm yeah. But it's not going to be a thing that I'm going to do all the time. My key thing in this life is to, is to live a life, and I, I, my life is, like I said, I want to be a traveler, right? So when I do travel, I want, that's what I trade. Like, I just want to set up. Yo, where's the where's the where's the puppy now? Like what time yeah. do I want to go see next? Yeah. And when the school holidays, I wanna that's what I wanna do for my kids. Yeah. I wanna train, let's go with this, daddy needs to work this time. So you know what? If you go to New York or we go that side in the morning we're working, so I'll be in New York time. So yeah. I'll train the London like, New York open and let's go. So like in school holidays, I wanna take my kids and see the world, you know? That's just all me as a father. And you know that that's that's what I'm saying. I will reach that point in life where I don't wanna speak training. I'll be in the group, whoever's in the group as end up with will probably take over, they also do, yeah, they'll probably pop in, but I won't be as much active. Mm. Yeah. You know, I won't be as much active, mentally speaking to people, or I'll do a lot of things online. I'll just drop videos and be like, this is this, you know, mentally, mentally. But yeah, that is what happened. People, I'm <laughs> promising you people, don't ever give up on training, just ease the game changer. If you guys have kids, if you're older, if you're the older generation, and the new generation, you've got kids that's 15, 16, 17, never put them down. Don't put them down. Inspire to keep on pushing, keep on doing that school, you can do your schoolwork first, but don't watch Netflix and chill. Mm. If you get something to yeah. charge and you can learn the power of training, I promise you, you can change your whole family very, very quick. So I'm here also to inspire you to, or tell, these, uh, to tell um, parents, mothers and fathers, don't ever put your kids, don't push them at gambling. Mm. Yeah, but I also think you're inspiration for the parents as well. Yes. You're a parent yourself. And yes, my parent, and my son, my son, he was, my son was in like, daddy, I'm making, of course, he's trading small accounts, mm. but he's making he's trading Nasdaq also. Mm. He withdraws and daddy, I'm here, and now, daddy, mm. I'm there now. That's the power of it. Yeah. Daddy, like tomorrow I'm going out, I'm going for breakfast with my friends. I'm like, oh no, I withdraw. I would do yeah. profits. And yeah. For me, it's crazy. Like we were talking about it, like your daddy, like we were talking about it. I was like, he's like, daddy, yo, we're gonna flip the script on this thing. He's yeah. good. Yeah, he's good. Then, he was holding the Nasdaq buys. The, he was holding Nasdaq buys. He was chopping the trade. He would take trades. He would operate. He mm. would do what he needs to do. He would just say, well, Daddy, I'm in. Are you in? Yes, we're in. We're operating. And I believe, you know what? As my son, yo, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna reach levels. Yeah. And we said the other day, we're going to be like, Daddy, where are you? I'm like, nah, I'm in the yard. I'm on the golf course. I'm on the golf course. I'm on the golf, I'm on the golf course in the yard. He's like, bro, we're going to do levels. Yeah. Having a son, he looks like me. He's got the same muscle like me. Yeah. He's driven in life. And big up to him, you know? Big up to him. He's operating. And you know what? It's, we might sound like a joke now, but it's true. One day you're going to find on the golf course in the backyard bumbling, you know? Yeah, and yeah. me is just like it's like it's, it's crazy. And as my kids grow older, my son of four years old, if he goes to school, the teacher would say, You just talk about forex, forex, forex. Mm -hmm. I must get the laptop so that I can buy my daddy. I want to buy my daddy this car, mm -hmm. forex, forex. You would get in the car, you'd be like, Daddy, you must trade, no? You must get this a fast car. You like cars. Yeah. He's just nice car, he's four years yeah. old, he's just one of them. So at the end of the day, my kids know it. I'll keep on pushing them and I want people to look at it this way. This is the game changer. This is one thing that I would say, I got my trick, it's my highest. And I believe throughout my business that I can say this, and I can say this straight on a podcast that I believe as a businessman with a trick, I make more money than certain people that have qualifications. <laughs> I make way more money. I make way more money. Welcome to the school of us. Welcome to the University of Hustlers. You know? Welcome to the Hustlers University. You know? And I'm also like that. I'm not telling you not to go and study. I'm not telling you not to go do that. If you believe in that, but then you do kids study. You know, you do kids study the markets, you then learn how to trade, you then learn how this thing works, you then learn how to get in, when to get in, build themselves, and I'm promising you people this thing will change your whole family tree. Mm -hmm. You guys don't understand when people say you can make hundred, you can make one million a day, you can make two million a day. This guy is a limit, there's six point six trillion dollars a day. Mm -hmm. And how do you make that kind of money? The same thing I do to make a thousand a day, the guy next to me can make ten grand and the guy next to me can make a hundred grand and the next guy can make a million grand. We do exactly the same thing. It's a bigger account size and a bigger lot size, right? That's the whole thing we do, yeah, no, you know? Fine. And at the end of the day is with the same risk management. Yeah, no. There's levels of that in anything in business. If you grow in business, the longer you stay in business, the bigger your bank account becomes, and the more risk you take and the more bigger moves you can make. Well, I think that's the same thing is. when it comes to finance people. I'm promising you, you can take everything away from me, but I will still trade. Mm -hmm. Just give me a laptop, give me a laptop and a cell phone. I'm promising you nothing. At the end of the day, is I don't know what my future holds, mm -hmm. and I pray to God all the time, just keep me in line, mm -hmm. and the big money do come. One thing, and I, but I feel that like I'm ready now. You know, in my journey, 
after that I'm ready now. Mentally, I changed a lot. I can say for it changed a lot. Mm -hmm. And why I feel that my breakthrough is here is because I can see it around me. I can see the people. My circles have changed. Yeah. Things have changed. And I feel that this is the level up. Mm -hmm. So I want people to stay tuned. I want people to follow my journey, feel inspired. You know, people's going to hate. But we, they're going to be hated. Because yeah. you know? why do you find out what do we just keep on doing? You know, like there's one of the favorite songs that, you know, come out of our communities, like the Mensa Prat, you know? Mm -hmm. I love that song, you know? One Oss is here, and Oss is Ali Prat, Natala Prat. You know, I like that, you know? The other day is. I mean, no race, I like white people, like black people, but for our colored people, big up to those people. It's a song that I love, I love that song, you know, that relates to me because people are always going to talk. Yeah. You can do good, but people's always going to talk. Oh, and I always wow. say, the more you talk, the more I win. It's so simple. <laughs> yeah. We keep it simple, you That's know. And at the end of the day, is, let me tell you one thing you talk, it always just comes back to the underdog, you know. Yeah, and it inspires me when I get out of bed. For me, it's like it when fire. I hear people talk, it creates fire. Yeah, I, I want to give you more to talk about. I want to give you more to talk about. And at the end of the day, like I said, you talk, I win. And that's it. That's it. You know, for me as we are, and I want to put this energy to everybody around me. Because that's the energy you need to win in life. You know, we all go through things. I've been, I went through the most the last month or two, right? But at the end of the day, was, you need to push through people. You need to push. Life, life, like for me, life had me. I have a whole life change. Like I had a whole life change in the last two to three weeks. I have a whole life change for living a certain life for five years. My life has changed. Yeah. But at the end of the day, is, you know what? I've realized that, you know, seasons, like people come, people go, seasons, yes, seasons change, not summer for always, you know, and that's what I've realized, and through it all, you just got to stay positive, this is the key thing to, to life, mental, your mental capacity, your mental, you got to keep on pushing that, mm -hmm. keep on staying positive, you may not be where you want to be, but if, you don't, if you're going to stop, you'll never get to where you go, yeah, want to go to, same. just never, don't stop, you know, don't let no man stop you, don't let no man tell you whatever, you do what you need to do, and if you keep on doing what you have to do, you show them, you show them, how you operate and I do it for the win. So yeah, that's me, Sean Econ in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that my voice become much more powerful. The more money I make, the more powerful my voice becomes. And I'm so excited, I'm sorry, I can't wait. <laughs> and within the day, I think that one day I'll probably have, like I have my own setup. And I wanted to speak. I want to speak to people, I want to help people. Part of underdog ethics is more about giving back. Yeah. And one thing, I, one thing I could say is that I could see and I always tell God, God, drop it down on me now. Yeah. You, uh, you've given me. Through business, you've blessed me in many ways. Um, I've given a lot back, you know, I've given a lot back. And people who watch us know that I've given people back, I've helped people. And, you know, growing through Forex, I believe that I'm going to do crazy things. We do yeah. big things, you know, we yeah, do really big things. And I really want to build like an academy. I really want to go back into my communities. Mm -hmm. And if I, if I can, I don't want to ask that really nothing. I don't want to ask. Whoever wants to venture with me or part of Underdog Epics, that is all the reason that my team or the people that's with me knows, that everyone will know that there's our visions to give back. Is to open up in our communities, have computers set up. We will teach you. We will teach you. This is something you're supposed to be learning in school, teaching in school. You're supposed, you're supposed to have this as an extra noodles activity. Okay, you've so got music, you've got all of this. But you know, one day, one day, the ball's in my court as a person. If I can flip the script and really show people as we grow, you know, people, that's the sort of thing, human eye. The human eye want to see certain things until they believe you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but that also drives me, push you to level, level up in life. Because, yeah, like, you know, at the end of the day, is like, I'm going to be the same person, I'm going to have the same skill, but I believe my voice will be more powerful mm. when you start having different things. Yeah. I'm going to have a fossil watch whatever I have a Rolex on, yeah. or I have a, what is the A piece, and when I don't pull up in an Audi, but I pull up in a this, or I pull up in that, you know? So I think that also pushed me because I want you guys to take note of me, yeah. but I'm going to be the same person what I have now with what I have then. Yeah, I might just become now. more crazy, or more crazy, <laughs> I'm going to become more crazier. You know, and I will start taking off my photo, yeah, photo, yeah. because like I said, I believe that people need to know the truth. No, but and the truth hurts. Me. Like we said in the beginning of the podcast, Dana White is. is you know, what? for me, it's just like for me, it's like you know, this is a very chill back podcast. Man. You know, mm. like as things are on, like when I say photo, like you know, I haven't sworn. I, I, every second yeah, day, yeah, I just yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> for me, like, like for me, that is a photo. No. But it comes to a way that certain times I express myself in a certain way. And I want people to get to know me like that. Like, I had to fall around. This mock is so calm. You know, this is your guys. It's yeah. a, it's a, this is no, a big... I, I appreciate you having the respect. Yeah, so, you know, I got big respect. At the end of the day, is I got big respect uh, for the brand. Yeah. For me, trading with a broker, not because I'm with him. The conditions of what I've been up with him now, almost a month now, and the trading conditions and people on the, on, 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 on that signed up with me, you guys can vouch for that. Mm -hmm. You've got the best the business when it comes to spread, when it comes to the training conditions, and you know, I'm grateful for that, you know? Yeah. And like I always say, you need to have, you know, you should put in all your psychology, all your minds into something, 
the broker is one of the most important. That is your, this is your best friend, you know. Yeah, that's but also friend. coming up with markets.com, I want markets.com also to understand that at the end of the day, I'm also for the people. Mm -hmm. And I want our people also understand that. Mm -hmm. I'm also one as much as it's, 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 it's the best, but also understand me that I'm also through my yeah. business. So also make sure you look at the underdog ethics, make sure you look at half of my people. Otherwise, you know what, we shouldn't have problems. And that's one thing that I had it with the previous broker. He felt offended, but clearly, if you see this, I don't care if you felt offended because yeah. it's the truth. Yeah. We're here for we here to do business. We do proper business, ethical business. Look after our people. Whatever you promise us, deliver. Right? And at the end of the day, is I know you guys will deliver because you guys, I know you guys will deliver. But I always put it out there that it's a two-way street. I partner up with the broker, but I'm also here for the people. Yeah. That goes both ways. If you get what I'm saying. So as markets have come, that's all I ask from you guys. Just look after underdog ethics. Look after the people, and you know we will have a good relationship. And for me, I moved around, and I want people to understand why I move around. It's always for the people. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, it's, oh, if I pick up something in certain situations, I move. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah. I move. I'm not here to, to talk and I won't talk about who I've been with. I move. And I always move on to better. And when I make decisions, people who know that when I started with Michael Cobb, we had a meeting in your guys' office. Yeah. I brought my students and I brought the people and we yeah. came to the office. Mm -hmm. And that is what I'm trying to do in this industry. You know, we're trying to clean up the industry. Yeah. We're trying to clean up the industry, you know, and, and that is what I need to do. I need to show people the truth and the life behind this thing. Mm -hmm. And you, people don't understand that this is, this is going to be one of the biggest purpose. The industry is really big. There's millions of people in the yeah, industry. But we can get a lot more people. Yeah, yeah. Much yeah, I think it's, uh, Thank you so much, gentlemen. It's Friday. Yeah. It's yeah. Thanks, guys.